morning, my friend. Do you hear my voice? I sound like Mickey Mouse. And I did my 5K today. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you were just joining me for the first time, welcome and thank you for being here. My name is Laura, and you have joined me on my week 45. Yep, 45th week of OMAD and intermittent fasting lifestyle. Now, before I get started too much, I'm gonna say, guys, this is probably gonna be the quickest video I've ever done because as you can tell, there's something going on with my voice. If you're hearing something, you're right. Laura literally lost her voice last week. So most of you know, I had a out of town trip, came back, never have felt bad at all. Um, just started getting to where I couldn't really talk very well. It was a little bit on Monday when we got back from the trip. Tuesday, I seemed fine. I started work on Wednesday. That is a whole nother story in itself. Um, by Thursday, I had no voice. It was dying out, dying out, dying out. Friday, I literally had no voice. No one could hear me. I couldn't talk. Nothing was coming out. I'm squeaking, trying to make words. Saturday, I sounded like Mickey Mouse all day. I had a 5K race in Houston that I did, and for the first part of the morning, after I got home, I told Ariel, I said, I'm just going to shut up. I'm not even going to say anything for the rest of the weekend, which I'm sure she was glad for, but I was just squeaking everywhere, and um, so I just started loading up on vitamin D, which I heard a doctor say months ago that if you take 150,000 units, like three days in a row, that if you're starting to feel um, like an inchy throat or starting to feel like you're getting sick, it'll help knock it out of you. And so I just started loading up on vitamin D and today is Monday and my voice, this is the best it sounded since Thursday. So it's coming back <laughs> slowly, but surely anyways. So jump on in and let's get started on what happened this week. Not a whole lot because I did start work. Um, went in on Wednesday, they had me start doing some video tests. Guys, this is 25 hours of videos and then some tests behind them and then a huge major test at the end of like 120 questions. So for the first three days, that's all I did was watch videos and take tests. And of course, this week is vacation. I love this, work three days, take a week off. <laughs> Go back for a couple weeks, take a couple more weeks off. I started at the right time of the year with the school. Anyways, um, so now I have like another 12 hours of training on school district stuff that I got to do, which I can do at home. This was great. So I'm going to do it this week and let the administrator know and she'll put the hours toward my test. I mean, my paycheck um, when I get back. So that's what I'm going to do this week is work on the online test and get them knocked out. And then I'm studying at the same time for my class B CDL license so I can drive school buses again. I did this years ago, a long, long time ago, like 12 years. And stupid me let my um, CDL go because I was in the medical field and didn't think I'd ever use it again. Hmm. Should have never done that. If you have a class A or B license and you're not using them, don't let them go because I'm going to tell you what you have to go through now to get your class B and A back is nothing like what I did 12 years ago. I literally went into DPS, took my test, passed my test, went to the school, studied with them for a little while, a little while drove around, got com comfortable with the vehicle, went and took the test and passed it. Done. I had my license in a few weeks, honestly, because I passed the test all on the first try. I don't know if I'm going to do that this time because um, I don't retain things as well as I used to. But anyhow, now there's 20 something hours of videos. Now there's 20 something hours of driving training. Just like when you get your license, remember back in the day when you went with the instructor, you have to do that now too. It's insane, but hopefully I'll be a better driver and more efficient and know a whole lot more than what I did yesterday. So I'm not complaining about it. It's just going to take a while. And the trainer told me the fastest he's ever seen somebody get their CDL was two months since this new process has started. So it's going to be a while, but that's all right. It's all right. Um, so far, everybody I've met has been super nice, super excited to have me on board. They've only had one other new person, and that was in September. I met him. He seems very nice, and he told me he would help me in any way he could. So just a lot of uh, friendly people. The drive to work, guys, is five minutes. <laughs> I love it. Five minutes. Ah, couldn't ask for anything better, honestly. So Anyways, I'm happy things are going well with the job. This could have been a lot better on Thursday and Friday, so I at least could have communicated with some people. I sounded like I was getting sick, and I just kept telling everybody, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really not sick. I just lost my voice. So 
I've been, um, Friday, I actually monitored on the bus. I rode morning time and evening time and um, sat on the bus and just watched and learned. So it's gonna be some, some interesting days over the next few months till I get my license back. The getting up at 4.30 in the morning, that's not a fave of mine, but to be honest, I don't sleep much anyhow, so I'm usually up anyways all night long. But um, have to be at work at 5.30 in the morning. Then after we do the bus run, when I get my own route, I'll have a break and then I'll go back at 1.30 and get off by five. The hours are not that bad. And it's like what I equate it to is when I delivered mail. I carried mail for 15 years. You delivered your route, you get to know your people. Same thing here, you get to know the parents, you get to know your students. I'm gonna have the same route over and over. It's repetition, which is something I feel like I just need right now, just something that I can just go to, do, do the same thing every day and just chill for a little bit. Laura is um, in a different frame of mind and a different stage of life, for sure. But, so with all that being said, I didn't take pictures of my food this week. Um, I did stick to OMAD every day. I did do OMAD. Um, the thing I am going to say about that, I did have a longer eating window yesterday. I don't know what was going on with me, but I just got the munchies super bad yesterday after I ate. And I had a bowl of ice cream and some s'mores. It's got to be the weather. I just, I don't know. Well, it can't be the weather with ice cream. I don't know what was going on. I just wanted sweets last night. Long story short, I didn't take pictures of my food this week, but I did stick to OMAD. So that's the main thing. What I was gonna tell you about a couple of days this week, I found myself really overeating. Um, I did go have Mexican food a couple of times last week with a couple of friends and um, I ate a whole basket of chips by myself Thursday night. I just could not stop munching on chips and salsa. So something is going either going on with me or I'm still just trying to get back in the routine I've not started really cooking at home. I think there's a lot of it. I've been eating out almost every meal last week again. I think it has a lot to do with it. And I'm sitting around socializing with my friends and I'm just constantly talking and eating. Wasn't a whole lot of talking Thursday. It was more squeaking. I would tell Ariel what to say and she had to translate for me because <laughs> nobody can hear me at the table. <laughs> Anyways, this has got to go. <laughs> As y'all know, I like to talk. <laughs> So I'm going to really have to rein myself back in, start cooking at home again. And I know all you guys are probably thinking the same thing I am about this week. <sighs> it's Thanksgiving, the holidays are here, and it's going to be like this for a few weeks. And this week is going to be a challenge if I really want to try to lose weight. Because Thursday, I've been invited to a friend's house for Thanksgiving. My family really don't do holidays, guys, and we haven't for years since the kids got big. Um, we don't exchange gifts. We don't get together and have the big meals and stuff. My family's really, really small. We live all over the place and far away. I am going or been invited to a friend's house Thursday for Thanksgiving dinner. Then Friday with my meetup group, they're having Thanksgiving dinner. And then Saturday, I'm going to my in-laws side with all my nieces and nephews. And, um, we're going over there Saturday to have a big Thanksgiving get together. So that's three times, three big meals with desserts and everything included. Do I have to eat all of it? No, absolutely not. I know that going in, this knows that going in, but the difference is, is when you get there, what happens? So that's what I'm trying to prepare myself for and trying to get my mind wrapped around is like, do you really want three straight days of horrible bad eating and right there before the weigh-in on Monday, and you know what's gonna happen on that scale. So, I have no clue yet. I can't sit here and tell you I've got a plan because I really don't yet. I'm just now starting to process it and think about it. So we will see on Monday what happens with the holiday, the Thanksgiving weekend feast. <laughs> so, I just wanna say, I hope each and every one of you truly have a good Thanksgiving week. I know the holidays are difficult for most of us, some of us, um, whether it's not having a big family or not having a place to go or just have lost loved ones around the holidays. That seems to happen a lot and it always triggers thoughts and memories and some tears sometimes. So I just wanna let you guys know, my heart is with, with each and every one of you. I know that I don't know a lot of you. I comment back and forth with some of you and I feel like I know you guys that I go back and forth with. I have emailed some of you guys, I've texted some of you guys. So 
All of you are near and dear to my hearts. And even if you've never left me a comment, I still thank you for being here and watching. So I just hope and pray everybody has a great holiday season and y'all are staying a little warm because it looks like we're all pretty much in the same boat here these days. It is cold, nasty, and raining. I'm, I'm so over this and we're just starting into the winter months, you know? Ugh. So try to stay warm, enjoy your families and have a good Thanksgiving. And then Monday, I'll let you know what the check-in was for this week. But let me tell you what happened last week. You know, I was coming back off of that trip, haul up, travel, water weight, whatever you want to call it. I was up on that scale. I was 180.6. Yep. Did not want to see the 180s again, but I did. So I did not really get back into track and focus extremely hard this week. I just went back to my one meal. And like I said, tried to stick to that. Did overeat a little bit here and there. And I indulged a little bit last night but I did stick to the one meal this week and the scale showed the water weight is down. Things are moving in the right direction. I was 177.6, three pounds down from last Monday, which is good. Now I got to keep on pushing and get the mind going and let's get in the right direction and get back down to my lowest weight, which I believe was 170 point something so far on this journey. So I'm still up a little, but we're moving and we're going to go and keep going. Um, I was listening to a video um, the other day and the girl, I think her name was Holly, was talking about having a Monday mindset. I only got to listen to about five minutes of it because I was heading out to work, but I'm going to go back and re-listen. She had a lot of good information. The one thing that she did say that made me go, huh, was how many of us, and I'm guilty of this, have the Monday mindset. We screw up during the week and it's like, oh, okay, Saturday, oh, whatever. I'll just do whatever. I'll start again on Monday. How many times have you done that? I've done it my whole life. And why are we waiting till Monday? Why not Thursday? Why not today? Why not wherever you're at? Because all we are doing is delaying the getting started again. So I was like, she's so right. She's so true. Get rid of the Monday mindset. So if you are, I know today is Monday, but if you're watching this on a Thursday and think, oh, I'll start eating better and living better and doing better on Monday, chunk it, chunk it out the window. Let's do it today. So I don't know why I'm saying that. Maybe somebody need to hear it. It just struck a chord with me the other day and I'm like, good, good point. We don't need to have a Monday mindset. We need to have today is the day mindset. So today is the day guys. And I know Thursday's probably not gonna be pretty, but jump back on it Friday if you can, and today is the day. Anyways, just want to say, again, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Sorry I sound like a, a squeak box over here, but something is definitely going on with my head and throat. And hopefully with this week of being off, I literally don't have anything planned the first part of the week. I'm in my PJ still, and I am just going to relax and take it easy and stay by the fire because I have the fire going. And enjoying a cup of coffee from Curran Tuck Lighthouse. <laughs> so enjoy your hot beverages, relax, enjoy the week with your family and friends. And I will see you guys again next Monday with a short, well, maybe not short, we'll see, short update. And we will go from there. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.